also working the latest developments tonight on a homicide investigation in New Bedford. It's a story that was first breaking on Eyewitness News at noon, and tonight we're learning more about the victim. Family members tell us this man, 29-year-old Scott Souza, was gunned down overnight in what police are calling an apparent homicide. It happened on Austin Street near Weld Square in New Bedford. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson joins us live now with reaction from stunned friends and neighbors. Yeah, we are continuing to find out more information about the victim in this shooting. It did happen here on Austin Street at that yellow home behind me right there. And family and friends, they're still trying to come to grips with the tragic death of Scott Souza. Loved ones mourn on the streets with the memory of 29-year-old Scott Souza fresh in their minds. He was like a big brother to me. He, he basically took care of there, man. Terrible. It, it hurts. It hurts me. New Bedford police are investigating after getting a call of a shooting at 3 a.m. on Friday morning. They found Sousa unconscious inside of his home. Sousa was rushed to St. Luke's Hospital, where he was later pronounced dead. Neighbors were stunned to hear the news. The whole neighbors were probably that happened, you know what I mean? The whole neighbors were probably, no, that's not happened. I mean, no. I live in here, right, for so many years, and Never heard something like that. Sousa's mother told me that she didn't know of anyone that would want to hurt her son. Family and friends describe the neighborhood as tight-knit. But one man says other incidents have happened in the area. I'm flying right by and, uh, you know, can be an innocent victim getting shot, you know? Not so much just uh, who exactly they're going after. Right now, the victim's family is wondering who shot Scott Sousa. The Bristol County District Attorney's Office is continuing to investigate. No word on any suspects at this point. New Bedford police are continuing to investigate this and look for clues. If you do have any information that could help them out, you're asked to call New Bedford police. Live with Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.